Truthfully, for a while, I've been wanting to do a video on children's playground equipment ever since I was sent this in the mail. This is a, a brochure sort of outlining all the different playground equipment you can buy. Uh, it's all very expensive. Also, don't ask me why I was sent this in the mail. It is so unbelievably over, iDubs bros. I, I, I was holding out a, just a smidgling of hope that something was going to turn around. That maybe he would just go vacant for six months and post a documentary. But no, he's found his true calling in life, and it's making god-awful tier listing videos. And it's it's basically unbearable. It's it's hard to watch. Nobody's really watching it. Nobody really cares. Idubs has sort of formulated this uh, self-delusion sphere that he's in. He'll say it at the end of this video, but he basically talks about how He's so grateful that everybody's so supportive of his new content. Nobody wants to watch this garbage. It'd be different if it was five years ago iDubs doing this content. I guess at this point it's probably seven years ago iDubs content, but he tries to do gags every once in a while in these videos and they just fall flat so hard. And it, I, I, I'm starting to understand why he said that he wasn't sure he could make content that people would enjoy anymore because this is dog shit. This is horrible. He has zero personality and he wants to talk about kids toys. That's really what he wants to engage with. He's like, yeah, this is going to be a really good one, guys. And then he also makes this pandering video talking about how content creators should be sponsored more. It's pathetic. We're going to get into it. Let's try. Let's try and keep an optimistic mind, all right? Let's let's try. How's it going y'all? It's little trucker boy. 9099. With my little trucker nuts hanging out. Today, I'm going to be pleading my case to the corporations of America to collaborate with internet celebrities. Why is he so greasy? Why is he so greasy? Why is he so sweaty? Why is he so disgusting? For whatever reason, he's like, yeah, I gotta just not wear my shirt and wear this awful American style tattoo on my chest. Just make it look real good. Have my greasy, unkempt hair. Just stuff it in a hat. Who really cares? And then I'm gonna plead to the corporations that are immoral and don't care about humans. I'm gonna plead to them to say, um, excuse me, I just lost $250,000. Um, money please, please send me money. I'm content friendly now. I, I love all genders. I love women a lot and I hate misogynists. I hate people that question authority. So please give me money. I'm a good little boy. Didn't you see my intro? I, I did funny run on floor with smoke machine. Isn't that cool? The mainstream ones. There's Niga Higa, White Boy 7th Street, Steve MRE, and Peanut Butter Gamer. I mean, he, he's already validated my point. He's going through, he's trying to make a goof, a gag. Oh, here's some YouTubers you could have do sponsorships. And it's like the... The celebrities on YouTube that already do these giant brand sponsorships think Lele Pons or L Liza Koshy, people like that, they're already the biggest shills for these corporations on earth. They will kill you to get an extra buck out of their these corporations through a sponsorship. They do not care. And the appeal of YouTube, at least the former appeal of YouTube, is that it's creator-based. You can have your own personality. And now iDubs is morphing into this blob of creators that do not care about being being entertaining or interesting they want to be the most middle ground person they could possibly be that way they can draw in more eyes and more attention that's one thing i think you can appreciate about locales it's incidental they're not trying to do it but they stick with who they are you're not going to see Cyrax coming out here saying hey guys let's let's do a let's do a playground set tier list that's never going to happen. He'll call you the N-word. He'll call you the F-word. He'll go balls out. And we have a little pussy whip boy over here, iDubs, who's trying to get Nestle, the company that said, 
water is not a right and we're gonna you know dehydrate this entire african village just because we can the, the, he wants them send me money oh my god wendy's wanted to appeal to a different segment of the market with its celebrity promotion in late 2020 gamers believe it or not there's millions of people who watch these people playing games is this supposed to be like that filthy frank comment where he's like Oh, hey, John Johnson, uh, what, what are these kids like? Oh, video games, let's make a video game show. My wife doesn't love me anymore. That's the appeal I'm getting from this. Oh, it's so funny, guys. He put a filter of himself as a seal, and it's slapping itself. Did you know that the people watch gamers? Whoa, Gadzook. I mean, God, he sucks. Like, this is the shit I want to see. I want to see the ones that aren't just, like, um, collaborations for, for, like, fast food meals. I want, like, actual packaged food products that you can store on your shelf for, like, years to come. Yeah, who doesn't want an iDubbbz shitty used diaper sponsored by Pampers to just be stored up on my shelf? I don't collect coins or cards or cars or anything like that. I collect failed youtuber merchandise and sponsorship gear isn't that cool aren't i quirky God. okay i would say it's the right color uh i like the like fruity pebbles that feels very germa to me all right the germa chocolate shake it's not chocolate the germa what would you name the germa sonic shake collab i'm okay with you shitting yourself that's literally fine to me get fully loaded chili cheese fries you get a wet burrito, and you get whatever the fuck is in this big old drink. Oh yeah, the drink's always in the back, isn't it? <laughs> we got some Crocs here. And then we got the H3 Podcast. I think this one would go really hard, because we got a lot of good colors. We got the H3 Podcast Crocs. <laughs> I feel like it fits the vibe. Kita X Mr. Beast. Okay, this is looking good. Notice that he goes after the most brand-friendly, middle ground people. I mean, I enjoy most of these people. I enjoy Jerma for who he is. I also don't really think Jerma's that big of a sellout. I do think that Charlie would sell his soul to get a major sponsorship, even though he doesn't need the money. I think, and he's not malicious with it, but I think he, he would take anything if Coca-Cola came by, if... Joe Schmo down the street showed up with enough money. I think Charlie would shill it. And you got Mr. Beast in there. You got your good old pal and failure H3H3 in there. Yeah, he's real good. Why don't we uh why don't we talk about uh you know somebody who uh who in the next H cost if you're picking up what I'm saying. Who, uh, who did who did H3 say should be the first to go? Remind me. Uh there's a convention down the street. Uh, you know, for, for firearms, uh, what does he think somebody should go do to that? I forget. But no, nah, for some reason, H3 just gets a pass. He's cool. He's, he's in the bread tuber crowd. It's all, it's all Gucci, guys. It's all cool. And he's, he's, Ian's trying to just suckle on the nipples of these guys who are clearly more successful in this space than him. And he just wants to, he just wants to ride that boat, baby. Mr. Beast, hook me up. Look, I put blood on bananas for some reason. And it doesn't help that iDubbbz has no proficiency in Photoshop at all. I'm not saying he has to be like Van Gogh over here making masterpieces. But he doesn't know what the gradient tool is. That would be easier than cutting out with a lasso tool and plotting in colors on Crocs. You can use a, a gradient tool, buddy. He'll figure it out next time. Don't worry. New videos every Monday. I'm really excited for that. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard, but Dr. Disrespect is like upset at Starfield for having pronouns or that he isn't getting special treatment or something like that. All right, guys, this is a brand collab that no one asked for. I think everyone wants. Clearly this box isn't feminine enough. So we're gonna make some adjustments here. I really hope this doesn't ruin the cheese it box, but. Sometimes you gotta risk it. Oh, okay, okay. I hope it's not coming across too strong. Oh, we also got the female symbol. Okay, that's actually better than the breast cancer one. This is the biggest cope I think I've ever seen in an entire video 
of any relevant YouTuber in a long time. He's literally trying to appeal to the 13 year old girls who his new audience is and say, Look guys, I'll make fun of the same people you make fun of. Isn't it quirky and cool? Yeah, don't you hate when video game companies uh, don't conform to societal norms? I'm not going to jump on jump on a side anywhere, but I think it's valid for somebody that plays video games their entire life to not want societal and cultural norms to influence video games. That's literally what Gamergate was all about. And I think that's justified. I think he's allowed to hold that opinion. But no, no guys, all, all genders are cool. And we're hip and cool for acknowledging that. Except for the stinky, stupid lady in the next clip. Yucky, breast cancer awareness, triple thumbs down. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. It's also kind of, Idubs, don't you think it's a bit misogynist of you to, uh, to color the Cheez-Its box pink? What, what makes you think that pink is related to women? That's grotesque, and that's disgusting. I demand an apology from you for putting pink and associating that with a woman. It's gross, all right? Step up. On, on a real note, though, if you, if you look up to Pearl in your life, you're making a huge mistake. She's one person. I'll throw down the incinerator with everybody else. Get rid of her. She's a grifter, and she doesn't follow what she believes or what she says. So, I, I, whatever. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna do video game donkey Levi boot cut jeans. Uh, I was gonna do a Max Mofo Pokemon 7-Eleven Slurpee. So you got uh, impulsively loaded nachos. You got the H3 layered cake. A tiny meat burrito, which is a play on TMG, Tiny Meat Gang. I'm picturing like a lot of uh, chopped up small meat like carne asada, something like that. This one I was just lazy on. I couldn't think of a funny thing. Cold One's Burger. Isn't it funny, guys? You wait all this time for a video, and then iDubs comes back and says, here are all the ideas that I didn't do because I'm too lazy to do my job. I'm a complete failure. I had three months or two months to make this video, and ah, who cares? I'm not going to do all the ideas. You want, you, want, you want effort in this video? You want me to care? Oh, no way! I'll do all the safe ones. I'll do Mr. Beast and H3H3, and I'll dunk on some guys like XQC and Pearl. Yeah, screw those guys. The internet doesn't like them at this point, so I'm gonna jump on board with that. Even though I probably don't watch any of their content and am completely unfamiliar with anything they do, but my new audience says that's cool and hip, so I'm gonna jump on board. Complete cuckery, cuckold behavior. Welcome back to another video. This, if all things work out, this will be the second week in a row of uploading, and I have no plans of stopping. Isn't it crazy, guys? Aren't you impressed when a YouTuber does their job and makes a video? <laughs> Oh my god, let's go guys, let's go! I mean, it's not like he has literally anything else to do with his entire life. Yes, he just lost a ton of money. What, is he making the roster for Creator Clash 3? What, is he gonna invite more niche content creators like me to be in it? I mean, what else could he possibly be doing? Yeah, he's probably depressed that nobody likes him anymore. And his new audience are Tumblr e-girls. That's cool, iDubs. You're really stepping it up. Can't you tell how quirky he is by these introductory clips? Whoa, I got a smoke machine, and I'm dry humping the floor. Oh, that's so crazy. You're totally the same old iDubs, man. I can't believe I was mad at you at all. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this whole setup. He claims that they are renting this place from an architect previously, but it makes me think that this is an office space and not like a home where there's some weird concrete dungeon in the back. It makes me feel like we're in some office space. And if that's the case, how do you, how can you afford this? You just lost all your money. And instead of doing some like financial rigmarole, jumping around to try and save some, you're just like, nah, we'll get an office. I'm worth it. I'm, I, that's a good investment, let's do it.
Wow, that's quirky, guys. That's such a good cutaway scene. I'm like, oh my god, he's playing the xylophone. That's so funny and quirky. I-Dubs, I, I keep on kicking it, man. You're so cool. Why does a kid need privacy? I don't know. It just feels good. It feels different. If it's raining, it's like this... This will protect you from the rain. I always feel uncomfortable whenever anybody that's an adult talks about kids. Just at all. Really. I think it's fine within like a family or friend point of view. But like it, it's weird. It's weird to evaluate children's toys, children's play sets through the eyes of a child. I feel like this video would be infinitely better if he did a weird political compass of his own opinions on how he would be using these pieces of equipment. Not like, ooh, little kids can go in there and make out and I'm watching from a distance with binoculars because I'm a sick perv. You know, we, we, we can move away from that aspect. You know that, right? And it shouldn't be a surprise, the, the path that iDubs is going down, he's going to be hanging out at parks in the middle of the night pretty soon, pretty quickly. It's, it's not looking good, dude. Ooh, these guys are tough. Because they remind me of like going on a carousel. Picking out the animal on the carousel was like the coolest part. Like that one's mine. It's we've reached the point of like reverse YouTube. You know, all the cable channels out there have been progressively making their children's shows for younger and younger audiences because less and less kids watch cable. That's why if you're in my generation and you grew up after like whatever ed and eddie fairly odd parents stuff like that went off the air we were the cutoff point because after us all the kids started using the internet and all the producers of all these networks said all right we have to make it for like four-year-olds now and now idubs is also pleading to him hey little kid isn't it cool when you go on the carousel with your family i'm there by myself because i got a vasectomy and my wife doesn't love me but i'm hanging out because i'm a cool kid i'm hanging out with the kids do you want the griffin or do you want the lion i'm taking the zebra because i'm really cool it's like weirdo sicko behavior weird all right that's pretty much it that's our political compass of children's playground equipment uh, I say children's playground equipment for comedic effect. You can play on this equipment at any age. By the way, guys, I truly appreciate your support on the last video. It means the world to me. Uh, I feel like I'm getting in a good video making grind. Yeah, this was really worth our time, don't you guys think? Idubs is, he's gotten it back, baby. And the crazy thing is, if Idubs wanted to move past all this drama, all this garbage, if he's afraid that he can't make good content anymore, his channel should literally be making those documentaries and that's it. If he wants to promote Creator Clash, I guess fine, but this type of content is garbage and it's going to make him lose viewership, not gain viewership. Nobody's going on YouTube for the first time and is like, hmm, wow, a political compass of, of, of playground equipment? That's, that's cool. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Nobody's doing that. If you do... Hell, if you came out with a documentary on, I don't know, Shoe Nice or something like that this upcoming week, everybody would tune in. And if you just ignored all of the hate, you wouldn't get it constantly. But you can't do that because you're a pathetic simp, you're a pathetic loser, and you'll never grow up. But either way, that's the end of my spiel. That's the end of my speech. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.